Hello, welcome to our studio today. We appreciate you coming by so very, very much. Hope you've been watching the show. We're starting on a little shelf painting here. And uh, today we're going to put a little more detail in it. Come over to the palette and I'll show you what we're doing here. Uh, now, there's a lot of different shadows you can use for the face. Uh, one of my favorite is I take a little of Lizard Crimson, a little red. Now that's really a dark color. Now what I like to do also is add a little white to that. Then I take a little Van Dyke Brown and add to it. And that's just about what I like, but I'm going to add just a touch more crimson to it. And that gives you a real pretty flesh shadow. And I've got some already mixed there with another color, but anyhow, I wanted to show you that. Now, what, what we can do here, let me grab another brush. This little detail brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that color. I'm going to go in now. You need to know where your shadow is going to be. And now what we probably will do with this little shelf we probably will come by I'm going to put a little shadow on his eye there I hope you can see that now we'll go right down the little nose here all the way down you see what that does? That lifts his little cheek right up. Now, if you need a little darker, which I'm gonna pick up a little alizarin crimson and put just a touch right under there. And I'm gonna put just a touch on that lip. Now, I need to blend that a little bit, so let me wrench that out a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back to my shadow color. And I'm going to put just a little bit down this side of the nose. And I'm putting a little on the end of the nose. And like I say, this is sort of a cartoon, so we won't make him look 100% uh, human but we'll make him look enough human that you will think you're looking at a human. You, you see the little colors in there now? And a shadow right under his nose. Now I'm going to put highlights on it too but no, not just yet. Now, I'm going to go down and put uh, a little bit of shadows on his hand here. Okay, now, I'm dropping my brush into the white, and you can do this last if you want to, but
Now probably what we'll do, we'll come back and do the outline on the uh, And I'm just doing a little bit of white on the fingernail. Yeah. Okay. Now what I would like to do is start painting a little bit of the is uniform. Now in order to do that, let me wipe this knife off a little bit. There's a lot of different colors you can use for shadows on white. One color I love to use, let me grab a little bit of this clear good white here. Is just a touch of blue. A strong blue. That may be a little too dark yet. And I believe it is. So let's grab a little more of this. Let's go right into the edge here and just get a little bit. Yeah. Now you can use that just straight like it is. But let me show you what I like to do. And mixing your colors sometimes is really important. I'm, I'm going into the Lizard Crimson. Now look what a pretty color I've got. That may not be enough, but we'll start out with that. I want just a little bit more. Yeah. Now that's the shadow or one of the shadows for our white. Okay. Now I'm gonna get a little bit smaller brush if I can find one here. I believe that one right there looks good. Now another thing I'm doing being I've got a whole completely wet canvas, I'm using my model stick here to sort of hold my up off of it when I need it. But I'm going to do a little freehand work here, so I'm going to lay my model stick right here. Okay, you have a shadow under here. See what a pretty shadow that makes? And you probably have a shadow under here. And a shadow right in there. Now see how pretty that looks. And all it is is just a just a small amount of color there. See how pretty that is? And it still looks white. Same thing with his little collar here. And we're putting a shadow on this side, so we'll do this collar right on the edge. A little bit on this edge. A little bit underneath. A little bit here. And here. You see, that makes him almost look round. <laughs> Maybe a little right under there, just a little bit. That gives it that roundness. And you don't have to use a lot of it, just Okay, let's pull some down here. Now I may have to put a little white in there. I've got a line there that uh, shouldn't be there. That might cover it up.
We want a big shadow under there. We want a shadow under here. Now we'll probably come back and outline this again after we get through with him. Now his shoe, I'm not sure where we make him black or uh, Or what color? Now you see what a pretty shadow that makes. Now, you can make it darker in areas, too, if you want to, which I probably will go back and do that. Right in there, for instance. In order to do that, you can do two or three different things. You can put a little more blue over there, and you can put a little more lizard crimson. Let's see if that's too dark. That's pretty dark. No, I like it. Yeah. All right. Let's do a little shadow right there. Maybe a little one there. All right. I'm rinsing my brush out. I got a little. A little too ambitious here. Made it a little darker than what I wanted. So I'm going to pull a little bit of that out. Sort of like that. And it's gone. All right. Now, if you notice, I picked up a little red there. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow here. Okay, now, for that shadow right back there, probably should use my little brush, but let's just see if I can get it with this big one. Got it. Okay, where else do I need a little darker? Right here. See, that makes him almost look round. Now, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm just touching a little color on the uh, buttons here. But I'm trying to make it a little darker. Hope you can see that. Okay, I like that pretty good. I, 
I'm going to add just a touch of white right over here. Clean my brush up real good. See, you can go back and pull it any way you want to. And I like that. I really do. Okay, now, what I really want to do Now, I'm, I'm, I'll probably go back and make some of the shadows even darker yet, but we'll do that probably later on. Uh, I've got some ugliness right down here in this little leg that I need to get out, so I'll go back into my white. Oops. Go back into my white. and pull it just like that. I'm going to try to get that little sketch part out of there if I can. We can come back and do it two or three more times if we need to. Anyhow, I sort of like it so far. Now, we've got some decisions to make. I'm going to blend this just a little bit here. Now, there is another thing you can do to uh, uh, a face. A face has a lot of different colors in it. If you're just painting for the uh, realistic look, then you would have greens, blues, purples. You don't see this normally you do, uh, unless you sit by and, and study it. But the colors are there. I'm probably going to have to let that dry a little bit to get my color in there the way I want it. Anyhow, let's see if I can get a little white right on the edge. We're just adding a little detail as we go. Okay, that didn't take too good, simply because, and I'll probably make it a little redder right in the cheeks here. I hope you can see what we're doing. Now we're adding actually a little extra color. Lip needs a little white in it. Sometimes it's a little hard to get every bit of it in there while it's wet because we're doing everything wet on wet. Okay, now here, we've got some other decisions to make here. Uh, that looks like a big turkey there in the middle, so we need turkey color. <laughs> uh, normally when you see the, uh, a turkey, uh, it'll be already cooked and roasted and pretty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a little of this flesh, see if I can go right in here. And I'm using the flesh, Van Dyke Brown, 
Katie Maria. That's a little dark, I think. So let's add a touch of white to it. And that's probably a little light, but that's probably what the color that we want to start with. Maybe a little more brown. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to take my little brush that I've been using here. We'll start with the turkey, okay? Got a little higher though. Let's see if I can get it off. Take a little more red and touch a yellow. Let's see if that helps you. Clean the brush out a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now we don't want a burnt turkey. That's getting there. I need a little lighter yet. Now I'm gonna have to go over here, I think. And grab a little bit of yellow. Let's see if that does something to it. Oh, yeah. Wipe it out a little bit. blend out a little bit better. I'm going to make it a little bit darker down here at the bottom and a little bit lighter at the top. All right. Let's see. That might, 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 might do it right there. Let's see. That helps, doesn't it? Pretty good. I'm going to make him a little darker at the bottom with a shadow under him. Yeah. That's closer. I like that pretty good. I may add a little bit.
sort of like that. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff to put in here. And I'm not sure what all this stuff is. I guess that's potatoes there. Uh, cucumbers, french fries, probably. French fries. This is what color is french fries? I guess it depends on where you get them. <laughs> I'm going to mix that right there. That's close. Now, let's see. I believe I could just put it in there with this and come back and outline. Don't you think so? The plate, we're going to leave it white, so. Okay, now, we got a couple of minutes left. This is probably, it looks to me like a, is that a tomato or a cucumber? Hmm. I'm not sure. Well, let's put some greenery in there, whatever the, I don't know what these things are. Let's put some green in there in here. That's some kind of little green stuff. Maybe it's lettuce or something. I hope Ruthie will figure out what this is. Uh, what would that be? Let's put that green too, just for the sake of argument. All right. We got about a minute left. So, we got a lot of red on there, but I, I still, I think that's a tomato. Now we got a bunch of other stuff that we got to do there, but we'll have to do that next week. I'm going to do real quick here. I think I am. Highlight some of this stuff. Maybe a little over here. Just to make it stand out a little bit. All right. Okay, I guess we're going to have to leave you for this week. We've enjoyed being here today. Hope you can come back next week and be with us. And uh, we've enjoyed the new series. And hope you enjoy what we're doing. We're going to try to do different things all along. And we've got a big project we're going to start real soon. We'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. 
Anyhow, thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye and God bless.